minha sabedoria. Mãos que amparam, que curam e que nos guiam. Palavra que nos conforta e nos enche de energia. Força que nos faz ver no escuro a luz do próximo dia. Estrada iluminada que nos mostra a direção e o caminho. E nos faz sentir seguros, sem medo de andar sozinhos. Quando buscamos a ti, voamos qual passarinho. Enviado do Criador, rebanhando teus filhos por mim. Sou feliz por ouvir teu conselho, por contar com tua mensagem. close your heart to anyone. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Casa Day where the current is now flowing from the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love, here in Abidjania in the heart of Brazil. And we have another gorgeous day here, the dry season and overcast, so nice and cool as we're getting into hotter weather now going forward. So we have the beautiful flowers everywhere. I was just noticing they just bloom, they're not in competition with each other. We have so much to learn from Mother Nature. And these flowers of all colours and fragrances in their majesty are being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees are back, big fat ones, and lots and lots of colourful 
butterflies reminding us of our transformation and that we are just travelers here on earth and all things pass and all things are impermanent the cycles of life and we're being held in this majestic high vibration of mother nature who nourishes us and sustains us so we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity to multiply our love light on earth. For in raising our vibration, we naturally in turn raise the vibration of the entire planet. So everyone wins. As we settle deeper and deeper into this necessary divine work, wherever you are in the world, relax. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, Feet firmly on the ground to ground you. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from our open hearts, connecting us across the miles. This beautiful current of love and light directly from the source. And put a glass of water beside you, this is blessed, and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind, body, and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is totally necessary for a deep connection, the current work can only be done with our eyes closed and our bodies uncrossed, so it flows fluidly, freely, and easily through each and every one of us. The best sight is insight. And we leave the material world behind with all of the stresses, problems, difficulties, challenges. And we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances. All there is, we are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. So many entities of light and love available to us 24 seven. All we need to do is to reach out and ask with a contrite heart and we receive everything we need and more for the journey. And today we go on a voyage of discovery and we get to know a beautiful entity of the Casa, part of Dom Ignacio's Falange who we don't really recognize that much, interestingly enough. And the 2nd of August was his feast day, and now we get to celebrate him today, St. Peter Fabier, whose presence is always in the Casa with the Christ consciousness. And he was one of the original members of the Society of Jesus. He was born in 1506 to a peasant family in France. And he was endowed with an extraordinary memory. He could hear a sermon in the morning and then repeat it verbatim in the afternoon for his friends. He was very, very poor, but through hard work, divine intervention and a lot of prayer. Finally, in 1525, he traveled to Paris for his studies. And as destiny would have it, there he met Francis Xavier and Saint Ignatius of Viola, the patron of the Casa, both incorporated entities of the Casa. And together, under the leadership of Ignatius, they and four other companions would form the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits. Ignatius considered Peter a man of great gentleness and openness, the person best suited to direct others in the spiritual exercises, a series of meditations, prayers and other contemplative practices developed by Ignatius for spiritual growth. Faber was all about community and connection. Wherever he went, he made new friends across all strata of society. He has a remarkable gift to bring each person he met to a closer friendship and loved to engage in conversation. 
He was very engaging, open and gentle in conveying the gospel message. He had a great devotion to the communion of saints and had a very special devotion to his guardian angel, reminding us that each and every one of us is looked after. We have guardian angels. We forget. Whenever Faber entered a town, he would invoke the saints and angels associated with that place, with malice towards none, and with charity for all. As with Ignatius and Xavier, Faber proclaimed the gospel as ultimately the good news. The teachings of the Christ consciousness were all about connection and collaboration. Faber rejoiced in the joy of service and not taking ourselves too seriously. In seeing that the communion of saints can be found in the here and now, just as much as in the life to come. Faber was famous for his dialogue with all, even the most remote, and especially with his opponents. He had a simple piety, a certain naivety, utmost humility. And he was available straight away to everyone and anyone. And he had a very careful interior discernment. He was a man capable of great and strong decisions, but he was also so gentle and loving. And he is often called the second Jesuit. There is a great devotion to this first companion of Saint Ignatius. And Faber spent a great deal of his Jesuit life working with the Protestants during the explosive time of the Reformation, which was a time of great strife and unrest. And he always did so with great openness and charity during a time when the Protestants were called heretics. Faber always stressed peaceful encounter. And he was a man on the move and a man of deep prayer, a model of contemplatives in action, just like all the Jesuits. And over his seven years of ministry, Faber crisscrossed more than 25 European cities, preaching a Christian renewal. He travelled on foot, invoking the spirits of the cities he passed through. And he was deeply in touch with the Holy Spirit who guided his vision. His final journey in Rome was in 1546, where, exhausted from his labours, he passed on in his dear friend St. Ignatius's arms at the tender age of 40. So we are very, very fortunate now to have Saint Peter Faver, to get to know him, working tirelessly through the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, with his brothers in Christ, the incorporated entities of Saint Francis Xavier and Dom Ignacio, the Trinity. As we turn now to our brother Jesus, who reminds us that when a few are called in his name, he will be present, trusting the promises of the Christ consciousness. May Christ return to earth and be born in every heart. As we try to see with the eyes of Christ, as the first Jesuits did, and multiply this beautiful high vibration of Christ's consciousness on earth, which is all about love, forgiveness, peace, joy, humility, patience, prayerfulness, respect, and
and up there with them all, gratitude for this gift of life we have been given to learn these challenging lessons now on the earthly journey. And in the spirit of Dom Ignacio, who encourages us all to come together as one family. Today's Lord Prayer is brought to us by our beautiful sister Lourdes. And Rainer, her partner there, right beside Monstrum Rat, where Dom Ignacio surrendered his sword to the Black Madonna. In her native language, Spanish, the language of Dom Ignacio and Xavier. Reminding us that God speaks vibration. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad, así en la tierra como en el cielo. El pan nuestro de cada día danos de hoy. Perdónanos nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask her in the sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times on earth as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the compassion, the love, the forgiveness, the joy, the faith, the hope, the humility, the patience, the abundance, and the gratitude deep, deep within us, as within all of us, we are divine beings helping us all, incarnate and disincarnate, on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Ave Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, Y bendito el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén.
We tend to forget that we are enrolled in the school of life. And there's lessons to be learned down here, and they're not easy right now. This explosion of consciousness on the planet, awakening everybody up, is causing a lot of hardship and upset and questioning, to say the least. And we're trying to find God. And we're thinking, oh, why has God abandoned us? And this is natural. But we need to really let go of the old and embrace the new. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. And all is in divine order. We're exactly where we're meant to be here now in this moment in time. And we're learning patience for sure. I asked God to grant me patience. God said, Patience is a byproduct of tribulations. It isn't granted, it is learned. And we're certainly learning to let go of the past. Embracing the future, but the most important thing is to learn to live in the present moment, which is extremely difficult to do. And we're learning really the art of living and dying well, and bringing this learning and teaching into every aspect of our daily lives mind, body, and spirit. And the opening of our hearts is our mission on earth. And the example of the Jesuits going out into the world, they were called contemplatives in action. They were out working among the poor, the disenfranchised, those abandoned by society. Anyone in need and we are called to do this work now, as more and more of us are becoming impoverished materially and spiritually. God is not lost. We are all part of the God consciousness. And we are all children of God. God lives in our hearts. And God is calling us now to work together in brotherhood and sisterhood. To not see a need without doing something about it. As we learn to open our hearts, we come to realize that we're all brothers and sisters in the light. And we're just walking each other home. And we need to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. This material world is so fickle. And we will all pass on, there's no doubt about that. So let's try to be present in this moment. And really reach out and help each other on our paths. It is in giving that we receive. And to the power of all of these amazing entities. And today as we celebrate Dom Ignacio and Xavier's best friend, St. Peter Faber. He had such humility in his life. And he teaches us about detachment from the material world and to find God. Bidden or not, God is always present. We just need to reconnect. So let us pray in this spirit of awakening, realization, trusting, having faith and believing in the power of God. Always with us.
every moment of our existence through lifetimes. I beg of you, my God, to remove anything which separates me from you and you from me. Remove anything that makes me unworthy of your sight, your control, your reprehension, of your speech and conversation, of your benevolence and love. Cast from me every evil that stands in the way of my seeing you. Hearing, tasting, savouring and touching you. Fearing and being mindful of you. Knowing, trusting, loving and possessing you. Being conscious of your presence. And as far as may be, enjoying you. This is what I ask for myself. And I earnestly desire from you, my God. Amen.
as we get to know our wonderful friend in Christ, this beautiful entity of the Casa. St. Peter Favre. It is great to go back and revisit how they became friends, Dom Ignacio, Xavier and Favre. Back in the 1500s, Dom Ignacio called the early Jesuits friends of the Lord before calling them the company of Jesus. And for Saint Ignatius, friendship was an essential part of his life. And he was much older than Xavier and Favier. And they met at the University of Paris. And in Favre's words, the three shared the same room, the same table, and the same purse. And certainly they had differences in personalities. Xavier was on fire, very much a hothead, as was Dom Ignacio, but they were learning the path together. And of course, famously, Dom Ignacio told both of them to go out and set the world on fire with the Christ consciousness. But Favre was a man troubled all his life by an excessive self-criticism. And for him, Ignatius was literally a godsend because Ignatius led Peter through the spiritual exercises that dramatically altered Favre's world view. And this happened despite their very different backgrounds. And this is one area where Ignatius and his friends highlight an insight on relationships. Friends need not be cut from the same cloths. The friend with whom you have the least in common may be the most helpful for your personal growth. Ignatius and Peter had, until they met, led radically different lives. Peter came to Paris at age 19, after what was called his humble birth, having spent his youth in the fields as a shepherd. And Peter was imbued with a simple piety towards Mary, the saints, relics, processions and shrines, and particularly angels. And Peter clung to the simple faith of his childhood. Ignatius, on the other hand, had spent many years as a courtier, and some of them as a soldier. He undergone a dramatic conversion and subjected himself to extreme penances and wandered to Rome and the Holy Land in pursuit of his goal of following God's will. One friend had seen little of the world and the other much. And one had always found religion as a source of solace and the other had proceeded to God along a torturous path. And Ignatius help, helped Peter Favre so much through the spiritual exercises and the examination of consciousness, guiding him to become a priest and walk the path of the Christ consciousness. And for this, Peter Favre was so much in gratitude. And Ignatius sent both Favre out on his mission right across Europe to multiply this beautiful 
work the teachings of Jesus and he sent Xavier out to the East. He became known as the Apostle of the East to multiply the Christ consciousness there, baptizing hundreds of thousands of people into the Christian faith. And Dom Ignacio missed his friends. And he used to sit up in his rooms in Rome and look at the night sky and look at the stars and say, even though I'm here looking up at God's glorious creation, we are all united. And the stars were his Jesuit friends all over the world. And he used to pray for their well-being by just looking up at the stars and appreciating in gratitude this wonderful gift of creation and this amazing friendship that we have all experienced through the power of the Casa de Dominacio coming together as one family. We are all brothers and sisters in the friendship with all of these entities who multiply this wonderful Christ consciousness. So we honor today our brother, St. Peter Faver, Dom Ignacio, and St. Francis Xavier, all these wonderful entities, for reminding us of all of our friendships, right down through the years, in appreciation of all of our different backgrounds, we come together to multiply this wonderful high vibration on Earth, walking each other home. Friends in the Christ consciousness. So let us pray in this spirit. God of heaven and earth, you revealed yourself to Peter Faber and the first Jesuits. They were your humble servants in prayer and the service of their neighbours, coming together in friendship and love. Grant that we may find you, God, and love for you in everything and in every person that we meet on the journey. We ask this through the power of the teachings of the Christ Consciousness. Amen.
And as we relax now into our physical bodies, our hard work is over for now. Let us be open to receive. As you give, so it will be given you. Keep your eyes closed to the end of the work. As we take a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being, breathing in the future with all of its hope, promise, joy, love, forgiveness, gratitude, humility, patience, friendship, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood. As we breathe out the past, with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, anything, everything that no longer serves us, handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall. Not a waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses. Being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on Earth. In this lifetime, to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us from way back, eons, lifetimes and lifetimes. This is what has brought us to this moment in time. And we're never given anything we cannot handle. Choose love. Let go. Surrender. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there are so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, abandoned, unloved, desolate, desperate, angry, frustrated, lost, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps were all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, fires, heat, floods, famine, drought, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring medium trial into this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful, cleansing, healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and more for the earthly journey, let's share our bounty with the world. Bringing this miraculous high vibration now into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth in these challenging times, pouring into all nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, rehabilitation centers, prisons. Any 
everywhere, everywhere on planet Earth, where brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or hungry. This God light gushing forth into our war zones, and where there's unrest, riots, disharmony, conflict, fighting, bringing the peace of God in our lifetime, not only for us, but for future generations to come. St. Rita's always with us. To God, all things are possible. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who is in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. It's not difficult. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now, this all-compassionate, almighty, all-loving, all-forgiving, majestic high vibration enveloping Gaia, Earth and Heart at the same letters. The earth is receiving a heart transplant through the Christ consciousness. Growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnage and disincarnate. All creatures, great and small. As it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creatures, in all universes, be healthy, happy, joyful, aware, humble, compassionate, trusting, faithful, loving, forgiving, prayerful, mindful. Come together in brotherhood and sisterhood and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
And as we bask in this glorious high vibration we're all receiving now right across the world, the sky unites us. This cleansing, healing energy pouring into our open hearts, nourishing us, giving us everything we need and more for the journey. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness, one family under the banner of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. As we get to know these amazing beings, these entities of light and love, with us every step of the journey. As we take this leap of faith together, knowing that there is a bigger picture and that difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. As we work together as one heart. And thank you God for sending all of your messengers of love, so many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love from all backgrounds, all creeds, all colours, all belief systems, all classes, poor, rich. They too had bodies once or twice, so they know all about the human condition, they know all about us and they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. As we reach out to them in brotherhood and sisterhood, asking for help. And we are receiving everything we need and more for this challenging journey right now. And today we celebrate friendship and the three amigos, Dom Ignacio, Francisco Xavier, both incorporated entities. And we get to know our other brother, Saint Peter Fabier, who was so humble and really taught us a lot about simplicity and examination of consciousness. He was the best one to give the spiritual exercises. So to discern and to find God in everything. So we are grateful for this spiritual help always from beyond the veil. And thank you for sending our brother Jesus with us always, Prince of Peace, and all of this Christ Consciousness, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to realize that life is short, and we've been here more times on earth, and this life is very important, and this moment is the most important moment of all. And we have lessons to learn down here, and they're not easy right now. And we have all of this help available to us as we reach out in brotherhood and sisterhood and ask. And when the lessons are learned, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path for time and time again, dedicating yourself to this divine necessary work. For your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk the spiritual path. Not an easy time now on earth. We're equipped with everything we need. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. For your humility that we're learning, your patience, your faith, your hope, your compassion, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service, written on the walls of the entity's room in English and in Portuguese, the motto of the Jesuits, the friends in Christ. As we walk our paths together now, Remembering that faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth and your love and your light 
beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up. Warriors of the light. Soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We have nothing to fear. In every moment, choose love. Love is the way forward. We rise by lifting others. Never see a need without doing something about it. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. And let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in all ways. Working always in a state of surrender and grace, letting go of anything and everything that no longer serves us in the spirit of the Jesuits to find God in all things. And remembering the words of our brother Peter Favre. Seek grace in the smallest things and you will also find grace to accomplish, to believe in and to hope for the greatest things. I am that I am. Dear God, please open our hearts. Open our bodies and let your spirit touch us and heal us. Dear God, please give us your peace. Dear God, Show us the way to love and give more of ourselves. Dear God, show us the way to do your will. Thank you, God. Amen. Love, loving, love.